What is up, Fishing for Dinner family? Thank you so much for joining us in this episode. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a Fulton F2 two-speed trailer winch on the bow of this Ranger 2410 bay boat. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss it. So in the box, it comes with this. I don't know what these are. A buddy Zach calls these destructions. They're very vague, they don't help you out. And we don't use them anyway, right? That's why we've got YouTube. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is assemble the handle. You need this handle here, this long bolt here with that. Cicadas are here, and they are just happy as they can be up in the trees, aren't they? Summertime in Texas, July 4th. Oh, this is a 916th knot, but... Hey, give us a thumbs up if you like fireworks in the summertime at July 4th. Happy birthday, America, huh? Destructions say to torque this to 25 or so foot-pounds. It's just, to me, that's good and hand tight from the base down here. Okay, so here's one set, one portion of the instructions I really thought was mm, leaving some to be desired. This was the spirit behind me wanting to make this video to help show you how to load the winch strap. The instructions weren't all that clear. So you're looking at the winch as if you're the bow of the boat coming up over the top of the coming up over the top of the winch. So take your strap. I've got that cross bolt in there going over the top of it. And we take the winch strap and go over the top of this, top of this and below that. So right in between them. Okay, so then pull it out the bottom here. And then you'll take this piece Put it right in there, let it sit flush on either side. Now pull your strap out, and that catches in there. And then now you'll be winching toward the boat like this as you draw the boat. It goes in and you draw the boat closer. You need a half inch to put that handle on here. So it comes with this lock washer, this flat washer. Put your lock washer on first. Put your flat washer on. And with this you get multiple. The vague set of destructions calls for 22 to 25 pounds of torque for this. All right, so now we're ready to bolt the winch up here on this Ranger trailer. If yours is looking like this on a Ranger trailer, you're probably using the same bolts as I am. The footprint it needs are these two that are closer and this. So now I'm going to take the winch, prop it up on the winch post with the view of the bottom side, exposing those grooved slots there. Taking the three stainless carriage bolts, I'll put those in the grooved slots. Here you can see that washer. Uh, that washer, once you put the carriage bolts in the grooved slots, slide those washers down toward the head of the bolt and it'll keep those bolts locked into the grooved slot. Then I'll take those stainless lock nuts, fasten them up from the bottom side, 22 to 25 foot pounds of torque, you're good to go. Okay, at this point, um, it's done, it's in, it's installed, and so I just wanted to show you how this, this works here with as it tapers that way uh, to nine o'clock as I pull the handle toward me and roll up and over toward the boat. It will draw the winch in. Like that. Now if I pull this tab out, pull it toward me and then turn it up to 12 o'clock, that's neutral. It's just in free spool. It can spool in either direction. It's not going to hold anything. Um, and then if I pull it out toward me and then turn it to 3 o'clock, that will give me a controlled descent. It'll give me a controlled out to, to let the winch out. Okay, now to demonstrate the two-speed portion of how this operates. So 
I got it in neutral right now. And you can see how it, how the speed that it's coming out. Now if I take this handle, push it in, now it comes out significantly faster. So just grab both handles, pull it out. That'll give you your slower speed, more control, more low end torque. But if you really need to make to cover more ground and pull more winch up, pull, pull more strap up, push this in. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like that quick and easy, down and dirty, how-to on the Fulton winch. Super easy install. You can do it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. God bless.